destination is on the right. Oh, this is not good. I just keep telling, doing what this bitch tells me to do. Well, we think we're at the right place. Colorado something healthcare. So we got to Palisades and the healthcare center here is medicine, medical marijuana only. And you have to have a Colorado medical card in order to be able to get it. So they gave us a card to go up the road another 20 miles to the uh, Cush Gardens, which also sells recreational. Um, we want to make it clear that we are not doing this because we want to do recreational. Uh, what we want is to try it out to see whether or not I want to get a medical card, which you can get in Nevada now. And I've studied the systems of both allopathic and alternative medicine, and I also know the extensive history of trying to suppress cannabis because it is cheap and easy to make and therefore not very good for the pharmaceutical industrial complex. I've been reading about medical marijuana and the thing that I have read that impresses me is that it is very, very useful with neuropathy. And I've been trying allopathic methods to uh, help with neuropathy and they have not helped to date. Well, they've helped a little, but only a little. And nobody seems to know what to do. So. I'm going to go try the uh, the Cush Gardens and try a little bit of edible and see what it does to me and see if it gives me a good night's sleep and if it gives me some relief of pain. See how my feet and my hands feel in the morning. Well, it's raining and we're traveling. I-70 East, four, three miles. I said it's raining and we're traveling. And I'm shooting a video from the passenger seat in the car. And the GPS bitch keeps interrupting you. I think I hit the wrong round. In a half mile, take exit 46. Well, we're going off script here. We're Turn taking... Right the ramp. Then, turn left. Uh, weren't you taking exit 47? Because you just passed it. No, she's wrong. The GPS bitch is wrong. There will be another exit up ahead. That would be nice. Oh, fuck me. We just took an off ramp that led directly back to an on ramp. Exactly. What we did is we avoided the freaking tunnel is all we did with that. So that's for trucks that don't want to explode. This seems like a lot of trouble to go through to uh, to buy marijuana. Do we know any people of a depraved nature back home? <laughs> My lips are sealed. The big thing is that the word marijuana has a fairly racist history to it. Uh, when uh, cannabis became illegal, uh, there was an attachment to a Spanish word for the plant. Uh, and it was made popular because it stigmatized it because of the stigma attached to Mexico and Mexican immigrants. Cannabis is the name of the plant, I believe, and it is so named because it has a bunch of, I can't pronounce this, cannabinoids, 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 I think is the right pronunciation. Hemp is the more common name for the plant. You know, I'm not sure that you're old enough to have marijuana. <laughs> oh my god, it's a gravel road. Is that bad? I don't know. Road for three quarters of a mile. We don't want to. Maybe the horses are just code for heroin, do you think? That's how people know where to buy uh, heroin. I think that we pissed off the GPS. So we're going to try this again. We didn't, we ignored her, so she made us drive around in a circle. And then when I went back to look at where we were heading, instead of saying the address of the place, it said to USA. I think I figured out what they're doing. This is a simulated marijuana experience. <laughs> Just driving hopelessly in circles with no landmarks or anything. This is what it feels like to be disoriented in the way marijuana smokers are when they smoke marijuana. So this is it, this is the compromise. 
Well, now that we figured it out, can we break and get some tea? I don't know. I can't find civilization anywhere. Well, that's Colorado. I think these are buttes, if that's the term. That is one big butte. And there are rolls of something that looks like dried grass. I don't know. I'm not from the rural part of the country, to be uh, to be blunt about it. Oh, that's funny. I made a pun. I said to be blunt about it. That was spontaneous, too. And this must be the place. Kush Gardens Cafe and whatever the heck else it is. Cafe is closed, though. The cafe is closed? Yeah. I don't want marijuana. I want tea. So this is what I thought it would look like. Not like the clinic before. This is gonna be fun. Well, here's our purchase. They even put it in a brown paper bag for us. <laughs> there are a couple of menus too. They tell you about all the different, uh, I'm not even sure what you call them, but the smokables, the non-smokables, drinkables, edibles. Um, I think you can rub it on you too if you want. I mean, with some effect, not just for the sake of uh, rubbing it on you. So, inside, we ended up going with um, a drinkable uh, because it's in a small dose and because, you know, we're going to be leaving the state shortly, so we didn't want to buy a big supply. And we're going to try it tonight, and we'll let you know how it goes. We're about to go through the tunnels, and we're pretty excited about it. Let's see what happens with the video. And the white balance is completely full again. Um, I did try the punch. Uh, I took a half of serving one night, and it did virtually nothing. It didn't even give me a good night's sleep. Uh, the next night, I took a full serving, and it gave me a good night's sleep. Um, food tasted really good, but I wasn't overly hungry. I just had a little thing to eat. And um, colors were quite vivid. And that's about the total effects. I didn't feel out of it. I didn't feel um, that I wasn't in control. And I only barely noticed anything. But I did have a very good night's sleep. Third night, I drank the rest of it, which turned out to be a serving plus 10 milliliters, which really isn't that much. Um, same as the time before, uh, except I didn't get as good a night's sleep. The only weird thing that happened is that I got hungry in the middle of the night and I got up to eat something, and I swear I could feel the muscles on the back of my head contracting while I was eating. It's like I knew every piece of muscle that let me chew so that was very strange um, but other than that I wouldn't say it had much of an effect either medicinally or uh, shall we say spiritually uh, I don't know what this means for the future but it wasn't like the miracle cure I was hoping for and so we're back to the drawing board but it was worth going and worth experimenting <laughs>